what's up youtube is actually been a while so a uh, quick one this video is going to be a little bit comprehensive first of all i'm going to give you updates on the ten dollar challenge that i i am doing and then the second thing which is one of the most important thing uh, uh let me say the most important thing when it comes to this video is that uh, i will be showing you uh trade i mean i will be analyzing different assets okay i will be analyzing different assets the ones that i've taken uh in the past uh that are sticking my account uh my ten dollar account to where it is right now and i will be showing you what i will be waiting what i'm waiting for and when i will be entry so that you two can actually be looking for all those things i'll be waiting for all those signals and then you take advantage of it as well but before then there is something i actually want to say right now so uh, the account since last week and I've not uh, for, for a while now I've not actually entered any trade. I've not actually entered any trade for a while now. So the video uh, that uh, I'm about to show you, I mean the, the the video regarding my account, the history and the the current balance and everything, I have actually done it about two weeks ago or so. So uh, that uh, th uh, that it was. It, uh, let me say. Uh, that was the last time I will say I, I traded that account, okay? And uh, one of the reasons why I've not been active is because I was a little bit ill. I was feverish, so I couldn't really, I don't even have time to record videos and edit and upload and all that. Even treats too. I've been taking treats out of, uh, I don't know, uh, tiredness. I don't do deep analysis just as the way I, just the way I used to do it. So some of my trading go well, actually, uh, I think last week. So, but nevertheless the recent uh state of the ten dollar account i will show you okay so uh but before i actually dive straight into my screens and then start showing you all the trade i took and then showing you analysis and what you should be looking at because i'll be analyzing crude oil i'll be analyzing uh gold i'll be analyzing um uh, the nasdaq s p 500 and what have you uh, even crypto too in this very video so i want you to take your time and watch and learn and then see how i'm going to do all these things okay so if you find all these things interesting please try and like the video even if you don't want to subscribe like the video to show some level of appreciation and if you really want to grow as a trader you want to become a master of this thing you have to uh, i will suggest or I, I will encourage you to subscribe to the video so that being said there is something I need to say quickly before we go to my computer screen. Uh, you see that this ten dollar account right now. Let me just tell you where the account is right now. I've actually take the account from ten dollar to one hundred and twenty twenty four dollars right now. One hundred and twenty four dollars from ten dollar account. So my point is this: what I want to say is this. See, eh? whenever you want to grow an account, don't be in haste to turn that account to one million, one million. Uh, what's it called? one million dollars don't don't be in haste take things slowly just keep it consistent like that um uh one more run other my comment section was saying the other day that i was not being consistent i'm not a consistent profitable trader i don't know if that person well it's uh, when some people are actually completely ignorant what they mean by i don't know if you understand what they mean by consistency consistency is if you are able to continue to grow an account and not deplete it this is a ten dollar account and i've been able to over the time i've been able to take it to 124 dollars so somebody who can take ten dollar to 124 dollars who is over 100 percent i'll be 1000 uh 100 over 500 percent or so uh if that if that if that exists so if i can do that then definitely that account no matter how small no matter how little an account it means that you can actually grow it so basically what i just want to tell you is that you should take it slow don't be in haste and don't over leverage don't use too heavy loss size just take things slowly slowly you will lose you will win you will lose you will win but the most important thing is small profit are added are being added to the major capital as as time goes on you will discover that the account will continue to grow and continue to grow and continue to grow and continue to grow don't forget that I've actually withdraw ten dollar from this same very account. The ten dollar that I put in, I've actually withdraw it from that this very account. So just imagine that. So basically, what I just want to tell you is, uh, take it slow. So let me just take you to my computer screen and show you the uh, where the account is, and at the same time the analysis, and then all the analysis I want to show you and the trade I want to show you. So let's go to my computer screen right now. Okay, sorry. Uh, one last thing. If you want to become master of trading, if you want to learn the tricks, you want to learn the learn it professionally, 
you want to do this thing professionally, you want to learn it professionally, I become a full-time trader, you may want to consider taking my mentorship class because there are so many things I can't explain on on, on YouTube, okay, because the videos will be too long, there are so many things to talk about, so there are so many things I I teach my students, and most of these beautiful trades, they capture them with me, so if you join the mentorship class, you are going to get most of the trades that I enter, and you are going to also learn to analyze trade yourself, and even when you analyze trade, you can actually send them to me for me to take a proper look at, so that I can uh, also give my own sense about the trade. So this way you become good. You see somebody to hold your hands and walk you through and mentor you through the whole process until you become a master yourself and be able to take people under yourself. So if you really, if you are really interested in all these things, don't forget to just check my bio. You will see my Telegram and my IG link there. Just send me a DM and I will respond to you. So let's go to my computer screen now. Okay, so uh, this is my phone screen now. This is the account. Uh, last week, uh, it was uh, more than 107. It was more than 107. It is as a result of the, uh, it is because I lost a particular trade today, B Monday. Let me, um, it was on last week. This is last week, uh, some of the last week trade I took. So let me put it back to today. So today, you can see minus seven. Okay, minus seven. This is the trade I lost today, US oil. Uh, because I had um, I had to went I had to I had to uh, trade on, but one of the trade got close. I think I, I didn't pay attention to my stop loss. I think it was too tight, so I re-entered the trade. I re-entered that particular uh, trade again. So that's why we have uh, this minus seven. So because of that, my profit dropped to. Uh, my balance dropped to one o seven. Okay. Uh, if you are still wondering if it is a. Uh, uh, if it is a real account, you see this wallet here. If you don't see it, if you are using the SNES, I don't know, maybe it's, it's the same thing with other broker. This wallet, if you don't see it, know that this is not a real account. Uh, know that that particular stuff is not a real account. And if you come here, you see, see that it is still that same account where I put $10. That is the same account that is now sitting at 107 So now, considering the fact that I'm already floating $19, so the total equity is 127 and uh, this uh, trade if it goes in my favor i believe this account will be taking over 150 dollars okay so i want you to understand one thing this is a 10 dollar account 10 okay so the market the market is not owing me anything you are not owing market anything so whatever the market gives you you take it and you take it slowly okay but we'll talk more about that so let's just go to my computer screen and let me show you all the trades i have been taking since last week, all the trade I took last week, this oil, the good trade I took, the S&P Nasdaq trade, uh, and the Wola Balu that happens with a lot of things actually happen, and so many lessons I believe you are going to learn from the trade I took. So let's go to my computer screen so that I can show you those trades now. All right. So, so, um, this is my computer screen. So let me just start with the first assets. Okay. Um, okay. So first of all, NASDAQ, um, S&P 500 and NASDAQ, this S&P 500 and NASDAQ. Uh, what happened is that uh, one thing is I always try to buy this asset. I always try to buy this asset and hold them. Okay. Uh, one of the mistakes that I, as you can see, one of the mistakes I made is usually I always follow up with uh, stop loss. Imagine if I'm still holding this trade. This is this is what I would have be doing. But um, I fucked up one way or the other. Uh, imagine this is this is a lot of movement. But let us leave this aside. Uh, this is what would have been happening. I would have even had another position here. And the beaut the thing is, I actually entered this trade. Which are those ones? They are past trades. So I don't want to talk much about them. But uh, so first of all, let me just say uh, right now the trade is gone. Uh, what I'm waiting for is a form of retracement, and the retracement I wanted to come to because now uh, S&P 500 has, has actually broken all-time high. If you come to daily time frame, let me show you something briefly. Network, network. Okay, so we are there now. So um, 
the year is was the all-time high before market has broken now this was the latest high this was the latest high and now market has broken so if at all you want to do anything you should be waiting for market to come back and retest this particular this particular place okay either this place or this place okay so it's either it test this place or this place uh before you can take a buy position but how do you determine when to buy if it tests this place instead of this place how do you know if it is ready if it gets to this place instead all you just want to wait for is some kind of price action pattern that show reverse if you see that then you may take your buy position from here but if you don't see that if you don't see like uh, in this case now just like i draw here like some of some some kind of double bottom then you may be you just have to be patient the the market is likely to break down and come back to this point and form that double bottom here and this is the double as you can see here like double bottom now it has it actually formed triple bottom here i missed it so it has gone back so probably this time around is just going to test this place and continue to move up but if that doesn't happen and come back here you want to wait for double bottom before you take that buy position for s p 500 and then so that is for S&P 500. And one thing about S&P 500, don't consider selling, okay? Don't consider selling S&P 500. You don't know. S&P 500 can still go forward before retracing. You can never tell. So uh, even as that too, don't consider selling. Buy. Because the reality is that when you are trading stocks, most especially basket of stocks like S&P 500 and NASDAQ, I will always advise you to always look for buy position. And before you take your buy position, just wait for that dip to happen you know that sell to happen when that dip happens that is when you want to buy take for example when dip happens here that is when i bought when dip happens here uh when dip happens i don't know my my network is a little bit bad so bear with me uh there's another dip that happens here that okay you can see there is another dip that happens here that is when i bought so the reality is you want to always wait for that dip if you look at if you go back to daily time frame you will see what i'm talking to you about that over the long time you will see that it has been going up so you as a trader for for for, for times in memoria uh, s&p 500 and nasdaq has been going up let me let me let me put it on weekly so that you can see it clearly you can see it has been going up when this is 2020 around 2020 that is when it's crash here yeah? but after the crashing what happened it bounced back up so all this deep that is when you you want to although uh 2020 if i had traded this uh market uh considering the nature of the what happened that and call that, that caused this crash i would have loved to sell but uh that that is gone so uh because of the situation you want to sell stocks so you want to sell your assets so that you won't get uh liquidated okay so that being said um uh so so you will discover that despite after all this ula balu that happened in 2020 what happens after that everything banks back up so you will discover that markets also retraces here it bounces back up retraces banks up whenever you see that dip that is when you want to what you want to buy it retraces here you bought it retraces here you bought you it retraces here you buy you retraces here you buy okay so the idea is um you want to consider buying rather than selling in this kind of market okay you want to consider buying whenever you have the opportunity to buy you buy but when there is selling pressure probably you want to stay back and let the selling pressure take place so whenever you see the opportunity when price tell you that okay i'm about to continue my bullish run then you follow okay the reason is because the nature of this uh basket of stocks the nature of them encourage bullish market okay it's encourage bullish okay no matter either they are cutting interest rate or something like that even if the market is going to drop a little it's still going to bounce back to the upside so it has always been that just as you can see on the chart it's going to either it's going to either there is going to be inflation either there is going to be recession either inflation happen recession happen it will only make the market go down a little bit and afterward it's going to pick up so when doing that recession or inflation when the market go down you you are that is an opportunity for you to even buy you just have to wait for the signal which is your price action pattern that shows reversal in this case and using your rsi to check the momentum so everything i've just explained with s&p 500 here happens is also applicable to us 30 and nasdaq but i don't trade us 30 there is nothing wrong i just don't want to because s&p 500 nasdaq and us 30 they tend to move similarly so i i don't want to be trading similar things three similar things so um 
So let me just focus on two. So that's why it's not because there's anything wrong with US 30. US 30 is good. It's nice to trade. So if you look at uh, NASDAQ 2, you will discover that NASDAQ as well has a similar situation. You can see how NASDAQ has been going bullish as well. Okay. Bullish as well. Okay. So whenever there is that deep, you buy. Deep, you buy. Okay. This is 2020 as well. You buy. Deep, you bought. Okay. You buy. Okay, when the market move here, there is a retracement. This retracement is an avenue for you to buy. You buy another one happens there. Retracement. I think I bought this one too. You buy this one happen now. You buy this one happen. You buy. So whenever there is a decent retracement, okay, this is weekly. So on lower time frame, you are going to see it. Whenever there is a deep retracement, you want to buy because this market, they they encourage you are your chances of winning the trade when you buy is higher than when you sell. So basically, that is just the idea. Imagine if you are trying to sell here, for example, you are trying to sell here. Okay, let's just use this as an example. Let's say you are trying to sell here for one reason or the other, maybe on lower time frame, and then you feel okay, this is the next uh, 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 support level, for example. Okay, let's say you say this is the next support level, and you feel like okay, let me just let me just sell from here for whatever reason you have. Uh, okay, on lower time frame. Okay, let's say you put you are targeting this place, and then okay and then you you just put your your stop loss just above this place you can see what happened the market eventually pushed back the same thing if you try to sell here okay regardless of whatever you do it's going to continue to hit your stop loss all right so maybe this one could go in your way this is head and shoulder pattern let's say you enter at the second shoulder here and then and this one uh if you decide to target this place for example you may end up lose, losing the trade okay you may end up losing the trade but if you just take your profit from here you may be lucky but the bottom line is the sell pressure is not always strong okay yeah it's not always strong in this market it's not always strong uh the bullish is always powerful it's always so in this kind of market you always want to consider buying so right now as uh right now just like i've explained on uh s&p 500 nasdaq i'm actually expecting some kind of that retracement to happen okay you can see retracement happen here i bought what happened say i bought happen here i bought so i always buy uh although even in the past i've bought so in most so many places but I, I i tend to remove them when it's getting too much on my on my chart so now uh the market is 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 uh at this particular resistance all i want is a form of retracement this on daily time frame so at least to this point then i can take this up okay i can take it up from there so i just want that decent retracement to happen okay you can see what is happening i just want that retracement to happen i just want the market to drop down a little bit and give me some kind of entry opportunity before i buy in some cases safe i may not see this pattern i will just buy because one thing is this market when you have the opportunity of buying just go straight into it okay just buy straight into it okay that is one thing i like about uh SP and Nasdaq always look for buy opportunity. And whenever you buy, always stay uh trade with your stop loss because when it buys like that, it always go far. It always go go and go and go and go and go and go and go. Um, I didn't capitalize on that here too. So let's just leave that aside and move to the next one. So that is for SP 500 and Nasdaq. So you self might be looking for, you may be looking for, you may have to look for this retracement before you, you enter this trade. So let's move to the next one. The next one is actually good okay so good so uh some uh days ago i actually traded good and uh i opt out from from here i opt out from here but you can see see go see going crazy okay um the reason why i am a little good actually let me just say something briefly before i dive into the analysis gold is another asset that you as a trader you want to consider buying not selling okay you, you don't want to be like uh most of these influencers uh forest influencers on youtube you don't want to you want to trade like a reasonable or uh, or uh, uh, trader like all these big hedge fund owners all these big uh guys you want to trade like them okay uh people like that uh what i mean by that is that these people buy when there is a dip when there is when the market move down when the market move down and the reason they buy this kind of asset is because this is safe even assets these assets are always valuable even if it drop over time even if it drop over time it drop deeply you discover that in the long run it's still going to shoot back to the to 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 
to um to the upside so that is one beautiful thing about gold now uh the mid east tension and every other thing has been driving these assets to the upside and that is crazy uh if i had known too i would have hold on to the trade but well i can't just uh i can't just take every trade okay so uh let's look at a uh, daily time frame and let's so that we can see this thing on a closer on a closer look i love looking at things from the bigger picture okay so if you look at gold you will discover that gold too is always on the upside okay it's always on the upside let me zoom it more okay yeah you will see gold is always on the upside back to back is always moving to the upside so in this case it is more it is it is more reasonable to want to buy this kind of asset instead of selling okay you want to buy this kind of asset instead of selling so whenever you see that market is selling you don't just want to jump into such market you don't just want to jump into the market you want to at least wait for retracement it may take time it may take time before you see that retracement but wait uh which is even one of the reasons why for the wine i have not entered any trade which is one of the reasons why i don't give updates often on the ten dollar account because i can stay for weeks and also good trade for now now i've been waiting now for a while now i've not seen any trade as you can see now there is no trade based on what i've just analyzed now no trade so and i will keep waiting until i see retracement if until i see that retracement i'm not i'm not selling because i don't usually sell in the few markets i've explained i'm talking about the indices i've explained the stocks that i've just explained now and it's good now i'm not selling anything okay because it is more it is profitable it is it is more reasonable to to buy in this market okay if you imagine if you have bought this market somewhere even considering where i bought recently self okay where i bought recently i think about two weeks ago or so or was it last week that i bought this trade okay even from here alone if i had all this trade imagine and this is good imagine you know how how volatile and how profitable this market can be you imagine what i would have been getting now and this market is likely to even retrace back to this point and then continue that retrace back to this point and continue that move to the upside so what i just want to say basically is that you should learn to you should learn to uh to buy this kind of asset not sell this kind of asset you may sell this market there's nothing wrong in selling but it will be more reasonable to sell let me give you an example of why i would prefer that you sell take for example this market makes higher high here higher, high, higher low higher high here and then it starts consolidating here and you are considering that okay this is a resistance and you feel that market is resisting uh this particular resistance if you have decided to sell one way or the other maybe you sell if you are if you had decided to sell let me say you sell around here and you try to let's say hold it to this point and your stop loss is above here you just see the market consolidating and there at the end of the day hit your stop loss this is why it is very risky to sell or if you are because this is a cycle you can see uh psychological zone market has tested this place multiple times and drop if you have decided to enter this market let's say around here and you put your stop loss just above you can see it being hit so uh selling in this kind of bullish market these are bullish assets is 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 risky is risky so it is more reasonable to buy if you look at uh it is more reasonable to buy okay so if you look at all the trades i've taken in the past you will see that i always bought look at it buy here and i took that decent trade okay um look uh look at this one too buy Maybe probably accept this one and accept this one okay and this is actually a risky trade as well it's a risky trade uh, uh, uh more of buy in, in this kind of asset as you can see it all is buy this is the one i bought recently uh so all these things okay so so basically right now what i expect you to wait for is some kind of although uh is it some kind of retracement some kind of retracement to happen when you see that retracement you may want to consider buying good i don't know it may come here uh buying good but uh my concern is that if you look at gold, gold has been going up for a long time. So I expect gold to give some kind of deep retracement, but I don't know when that will happen. So if what I've just shown you here is what happened, buy. But if that doesn't happen, uh, I expect uh, gold to at least drop decently to somewhere here. Okay. But gold is a bullish market with the tension on in the mid east. Gold is likely not going to drop this deep okay so whatever retracement you see you may want to you may want to uh buy 
okay whatever retracement you see maybe the retracement is just to this place uh let's say the retracement is just to this particular point okay okay you may want to just buy that but before you buy okay let me just explain something to you if the retracement happen here okay if you just let me show you something let me remove this first if the retracement just uh, uh you just see sorry if the retracement just happen like this okay don't just buy like that don't just buy if the retracement will just drop and then you see candle on that particular resistance don't buy and say oh uh the market has uh this is 50 percent fibonacci retracement okay you know all those they are technical analysis they do for you uh all those your mentor do for you oh, this is uh 50 percent golden zone retracement um then uh they now say uh what else it's resting it's resting at uh, uh a resistant made support okay don't just buy the reason i say you shouldn't just buy is because um go to my breakthrough and come as far as this or come as far as this okay or come as far as this and another thing that can happen is that if you buy you are the market is likely to i'm not saying that the market can't turn from here the market might actually turn from here okay uh and if at all market is going to retrace it may come turn from here and form some kind of double top before finally dropping either to this place or to this place okay that is if the market is going to eventually sell if good is going to sell eventually but if good is not going to sell okay if good is not going to sell this is what is likely to happen it is likely that it will just come here once and then just come up but what i do to be sure to be on the safer side is that i always want to if when when good drop here i want to see that good struggle to break this particular support okay break this particular support that is by waiting for some some kind of double bottom or reverse head and shoulder pattern just like as you can see here you can see this double bottom you will discover that i didn't even get to my uh po how do you guys call it poi i what do you add to all these ict guys call it point of interest anyways so you didn't get here but because i saw that the market was struggling around the from double bottom that was why but so i want to see something like that because it's actually very significant it means that price got to this particular level and then it got a uh, buyer stepped in because buyers are the one that push it up to this particular point that is one sign that buyers are sitting down there so the sellers that push the market to this point they are not going to exist the market immediately so they are definitely going to push the market down so if they push the market first of all you need to see that they fail to push the market below that same price level because if they push the market and start going that they may still push the market the buyers may try to buy it but these sellers may overwhelm them and push the markets down so thereby hitting your stop loss but if you push there you push if they push the market and they stop here and you then see maybe bullish and gothic can do or you see some kind of weak rejection that is to tell you that the buyers who push who bought this asset from here here they are still strong here and they are very very well established at this particular price zone which means that they are buying good at this particular price zone. that is when you want to buy so this is why i wait for but sometimes you will not see this pattern price will just come here and then just start moving up so it depends on you if you want to become a reserve a trader or you want to be an aggressive trader an aggressive trader as soon as it retraces they may want to buy so if you buy it may go in your direction and it may just break but if you are a reserve trader you want to wait for something like this just like me you want to wait for something like this before you buy so basically what i am waiting for is to see price come down to this point from double bottom before i buy this trade so that is what i'm waiting for price my good might still move up move up before this retracement happen uh okay but i know retracement is going to see happen if retracement doesn't happen some kind of consolidation may happen at some point before continue like uh this retracement may not happen it may be some kind of consolidation that will happen let me show you what i mean by that so price might just move up and then start consolidating consolidating some consolidating 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 then we just shoot to the upside okay uh let me remove sorry then sorry uh so let me remove this let me move it a little bit away from there okay price will just move and then you know and then start the move uh to the upside just like something that happened here okay just like something that happened here this consolidation that happened here and then start moving up so it may consolidate instead of the drop okay so those are two ways for market to just pull itself together pull itself together before continuing in its usual, usual direction so that being said that is what i'm looking for for in gold that is my uh, idea for gold right now so that being said the next asset that i will talk about is u.s oil okay so u.s oil i have actually been buying u.s oil for a while now 
uh, leave this one. I am not in the trade. So I've actually been buying US oil, but recently US oil have actually have made some. Uh, you can see the trade that was in uh, uh, today. The trade that I show you on that video, it was oh yeah, oh yeah, was there. Uh, but that let's put that aside now. I've actually been buying oil, but now uh, the reason I've been buying oil is because of the Mid East, uh, Middle East uh, issue, Israel and Iran fight kind of fight that is uh, that is going on. So that is why I bought oil because when there is situation like that around that area, Iran uh, account for about twenty three percent of OPEC oil or uh, crude oil. So if fights happen, it may spread and affect the supply of oil in that region. So that is going to shoot the price of oil. That was why. I was going bullish bullish on this but funny enough uh the fact that i am buying here i try to buy in some cases i bought here as well i bought here as well okay i bought here as well but uh do you know the funny thing this market eventually retraces against me i think my stop loss was around here yeah so i bought around here and there is no need to hide that i bought around here. this is my double bottom apart from the product bottom the price I, so the market retrace and hit my stop loss here okay so when the price was also here i also tried to buy again around here okay i also tried to buy again around here and the price still hit my stop loss again okay so uh but if you look at my stop loss here in this case my stop loss here look at my stop loss uh if you still put these two stop loss together you can see it cannot override the profit i've made so far from crude oil so but right now, what is now going on with crude oil is the fact that uh, what is now going on with crude oil is the fact that I noticed that the major importer of oil, okay, China, uh, one of the major countries that imports oil that makes the demand high, they are not demanding for oil. So because of that, the price of oil, because there is no demand from this country, China, there is no demand so the price of oil drop because you know when there is no demand the, all this game is all about supply and demand when there is no high demand for a product then it's going to become cheaper so price of oil becomes deep, deeper uh, cheaper as a result and it has been dropping so right now my bias uh, on oil is two way side because you may decide to sell uh, you may decide to sell oil and uh, uh, maybe for example you see a retracement a little bit and you decide to sell oil and then along the way you just hear that israel attack iran that news alone can just shoot price of oil back up straight away so because of that and israel can attack anywhere from now so nobody knows so for now i am just going to stay away from the market and see what happens uh, uh, if israel eventually attack uh, uh, iran i will be looking to buy oil instead instead of selling so right now i will stay back from oil so that is for crude oil okay so uh now let's talk about BTC. So BTC, briefly, I, I really don't have much to say about BTC. Um, we all know that uh, October price of Bitcoin always move up, and this has been happening since the beginning. You can see the price of uh, it has been. I think uh, it started around here. This pump. Okay, after this drop from this double bottom, price of crude oil as uh, I say crude oil BTC has been going up, has been going up. And what happened is that whenever there is BTC uh going up like that, other altcoins, altcoins like alternate coins, uh they tend to follow suit. So you will see other coins to moving in that direction. So basically, what I expect to see now is that uh some kind of uh retracement and then the coin will continue its move. Okay, so that is what I expect from uh, this market. So you can just do your technical analysis the way I used to do it, and then try to try to um, follow the instruction there, and try to just follow what you find out. But long time I will be looking for right now. I will be looking to buy crypto. Uh, but funny enough, I am trying to sell Ethereum and crypto right now. Okay, I'm trying to sell. I have no reason though. No. I just feel I should just put. To more change let me try to sell this not that i have any good reason to sell i'm just selling um uh, btc and ethereum basically i just i should just risk selling them a little bit probably to this point it may not get here yeah so uh and then when that retracement happened i will just buy and the reason i'm let me just give 
basically technical reasons first of all this resistance being tested which i know can actually be broken uh but i want to see some kind of resistance from there sure so uh ethereum too similar thing so basically i really don't have much reason why i'm, I'm selling now but uh, i just feel that i should sell based on uh based on what i've just explained and as you can see it's not even going in my direction but anyways let's just leave it aside i'm not risking too much on the tree because this is not an easy setup for me so basically ah i'm so tired so that is what i just want to show you briefly so i want you guys to like and subscribe and i will see you in my other video